Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing the second half of my Watts Sold which will be for last weekend December 15th through the 17th. I had sales on all three of the platforms, not Etsy, um, and I think Sunday on eBay was like the best, the second best day of the last month. So it was really, really good sales that day and I, most people were, I guess, hoping and planning to get their stuff before Christmas. Um, so far I've not received any of those messages that says it stalled somewhere. So hopefully, fingers crossed, no issues with um, everything that's been shipped out. At this point, people realize they're not getting it before Christmas. Um, but I'm still sending out as quickly as I can every day. There's been several days this week. We've actually gone to the post office twice um, just to make sure we get everything shipped as quickly as we can. But it is Friday and my stores are on vacation. eBay is on extended handling and it's, it's time to get packing after this video. So let's just get to it. We'll start with three sales that went, happened that weekend on Mercari. First one was this McDonald's Jim Henson Muppet Workshop toy lot. Um, sold for $11. Super Mario Luigi plush sold for offer of $7.50. And Animal Adventure Rabbit. The mama sent me a sweet message saying one of these. I think the green one maybe was her son's favorite plush since a child and she was buying it as a backup. Sold for $17. Y'all, this is my thoughts on Mercari. Yeah, I keep saying that I'm just, I'm done with them, but I don't think I should be. I think I need to put better effort into cross-listing to that platform, but I think this is my, my initial thought on what I should do is I'm going to start ending a lot of my older listings on there. Maybe, you know, Mercari sees it like eBay. If your stuff's been sitting there forever, um, then, you know, it's going to kind of like stop your sales in your store. I don't know, but that's, we know on eBay, if your stuff sits there for long enough, it just starts getting hidden or dropped, which is even worse. Um, so I think I'm going to start ending a lot of my older listings, but as I put more stuff on Mercari, I've not been allowing the auto offers. I think I will go ahead and set that up also. And then I think I'm going to avoid most things that are over a pound just because the shipping is so much and then that stuff just sits and then that just, you know, makes your store seem like it's stalled. So I think that's my thoughts. Anybody else? Um, doing that or contemplating that. Let me know in the comments. So I think that's where I'm going to go. Maybe while I'm on vacation, I'll start doing that. I'll start ending the old stuff. But the problem with that is, is because on eBay, I have a code in my custom SKU that says that thing is on Mercari. I'll have to go in and make sure I remove M out of my custom SKU because I don't want to spend wasting that time going and looking for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do though. And then moving on to Poshmark. Just two cells on there to share. Vintage Mattel Hart Family Band 76. Itty bitty. Sold for $10 on Poshmark. And this Walmart Pink Plush 6 inch. Also very small. Sold for $12. And now eBay. Somebody made a comment in one of my videos that... You know, I'm always talking about eBay, like maybe I'm getting kickbacks or something. I'm not. We all know. I'm, I'm still small potatoes as far as eBay is concerned. But um, a lot, most, like I think Robert looked it up. It's like 70% of my sales are eBay compared to all the other platforms combined. Could be even more. Probably more. I'm probably just throwing out wrong numbers. But, you know eBay is, for my type of stuff that I sell, the biggest platform. And I have all of my listings are there. And then I cross list some of them with List Perfectly to the other platforms. All right. First thing on uh, 
eBay is this Powerpuff Girls Bubbles sold for $16.95. Commonwealth White Angel Rubber Faced Doll. It was also a music box. Been listed a while. I got a $33 offer and I went ahead and accepted it. Aeropostale Men's Jeans, $10.27. I've started listing more clothes, so I'm selling more clothes. Pink Cat Plush from TB Trading Company sold for $15. Dakin Monkey Plush it's had an Opryland shirt on it from 1977, sold for $25. How to Train Your Dragon. This is Toothless from 2018, sold for $17.95. If this is the first time you're watching my What Sold videos on eBay, I do not offer free shipping, so the buyer paid the $17.95 plus additional for shipping. Gunned Brown Blush 12 inch sold for $10. This sat on the shelf, y'all. It got set up. And it stayed there and one day I decided I was going to pick so many things from my shelf and it sold very quickly. This is a Victoria strainer juicer sold for $28. Somebody made a comment also on my videos about doing a series on my profit pile stuff that's all sitting on these shelves and that's the idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. You know, I may pick a video a week where I just take everything off a shelf, not a whole shelf, a shelf on a shelf, and um, do something with it. I'm either going to list it, I'm going to donate it, or it needs to get thrown away. And we're just going to do that for all of these shelves over the first of the year, January, February. And hopefully I'm going to get a lot of this stuff dealt with. I call them my one touches for the most part, but they're really like 10 and 15 and 20 touches that I've picked it up. I've looked at it. It just doesn't enthuse me. It has an issue. It needs cleaned. It needs tested. Or we came in and we just pushed everything on a shelf and it was forgotten. I know lots of you understand. Now, these were a nice find. Um, I had not heard of them. They all were picked up at the bins and they were called Glitz Mini Dogs. They're only four inches long. Um, I found all three of these um, and listed them together. Sold for $32. This is a viewer sale, so thank you again, Sherry. Sherry bought several plush from me. Oops, let me move this out of the way. There we go. She bought this Disney Parks Panda Bear and then this Garanimals Brown Monkey plush. Recently showed it in a haul. Then she picked up this Black Gorilla and this Spark Create Imagine Sloth. Total order was $58.89. All right, Mattel Blaze and the Monster Machine. These were a little bit larger than the little die-cast vehicles. They both talked, and they sold for $13.69. Russ Mini Pomeranian Dog. I could not find this plush, but when I used Google Lens, it ended up pulling up a very similar plush that had sold for more than my bread and butter plush. So I just decided to go ahead and list this one. I think it had sold like 20 bucks. Um, so I listed this one a little bit higher with my sale. It ended up selling for my sale price of $19.76. Google Lens is definitely your friend, but don't rely on it to set your price. You still need to go into eBay and check the sold comps. White Mountain Movie Jigsaw Puzzle. We put lots of these puzzles together. I still have a pile up there. Those are my favorite, this brand. Um, this was a movie series. We put them together. I list them. Most of them are bread and butter. This one sold for $10.95. Hasbro Micro Machine Pieces and Parts from 2003 sold for $13.45. 
Harley Davidson Boston Terrier Plush. I think this was a Ben's pickup. Um, sold for best offer of $35. Miss Me Jeans, $31.21. We don't find that brand very often, but we get we we kind of get excited when we do because they're very quick sellers for us. Dandy, this sold almost the same day I listed it, or right after my sell started anyway. This is a Candy Bandit dog plush. It just, I have a video showing that it works. Just kind of makes noise and moves around. Sold for $17.95. Kohl's, I pick up most Kohl's, especially if it's clean. This year I do plan to try to find some of the books to go with the plush. Um, Still $8.02, bread and butter. Now I picked this doll up. It was a large Holly Hobby doll, but the hair was like disintegrating and falling apart. And there were ended up being a lot of damage to the body of the plush. So I just took her clothes and her bonnet off and they sold probably within a month for $16.95. All right, this is a Visions Corningware Amber Glass stock pot. I tend to not pick them up very often. They're breakable a lot of times, especially the, the pots and pans. They've got the long handle. They're just really cumbersome to store and to ship. But this particular stock pot has the nonstick bottom on the here. Very interesting in excellent, excellent condition. And it sold for $35.95. Animal Adventure, these little white rabbits, these little rabbits, I find them in lots of different colors. They're just bread and butter for me, but they tend to sell consistently. This one sold for $8.06. Wild Republic, another brand I tend to pick up quite a bit. This is a hyena slash dog plush, $13.45. Cabbage Patch Kids Vintage Little Red Dress, cute, $25. Silver Jeans, sold for $15.13. Any of the clothes that we list that can fit in a padded flat rate envelope, I list with the flat rate shipping of $8.99. The padded flat rate envelopes are $8.30 with our discount. So there's a little bit of padding there to cover a lot of my other packaging supplies that I pick. But I have found since I changed my shipping to uh, give my buyers my discounted shipping, a lot of these are shipping for $7.20, a lot of them. So, you know, if you haven't done that, you might wanna consider it. Yes, you're losing a lot of the income that you get from the um, increase in the shipping, but my sales have increased dramatically for a lot of the things that the shipping just was a little bit too much, like for um, shoes and coffee mugs and some of the heavier items. So, you know... We all have to have our own business models, but this one is definitely working for me and I will continue with it this next year. Now this took a while to sell. We picked it up at an estate sale where there were no toys. I bought just all kinds of amazing stuff, really cheap, like two and three and five dollars. Um, this is a Gorham Bailing Court Folk Art Santa. It sold for a best offer of $87. No, no tag on this, so I didn't know the manufacturer. Again, just use as many keywords as you possibly can. Green bow tie, orange tan stuffed animal, sold for $12.07. Toys R Us German Shepherd Dog sold for $20.21. Another pair of Miss Me Jeans. These sold for $35.71. Hampton Silversmith Bamboo Flatware. I pick up a lot of um, flatware at estate sales. 
and end up usually dividing them up into small lots of like four salad forks, four dinner forks, four knives, four spoons, um, and they tend to sell very well for me that way. I have been selling quite a bit of this particular series that I listed recently. Um, these four salad forks sold for $16.50. Disney Lilo and Stitch Pillow Pets Plush sold for $23.41. Tonka Pound Puppies, um, this is one of the vintage plush that was still in its original bag, sold for $11.66. Baby Gans, Pink Unicorn Lovey, Bread and Butter, $8.02. They're called Flatapats. Some of them do way better than this, though. Applause Honey Dog Plush sold for $10. This took a while, and again, I think it finally sold because I had um, discounted shipping put on this, and it was a large box. This is a 36-inch Santa Claus and it sold for $25. Precious Moments doll, not something I tend to pick up, but it was cute, probably in a box lot of stuff, sold for $9. Under Armour Women's Leggings, pretty sure I picked these up at a yard sale for me, but they were too long, so I listed them, sold for $10. This is my best sell of the weekend. Tracy saw this um, in my recent video, haul video on the Wizard of Oz stuff that I picked up at my favorite little estate sale. I had gone back the next day. I found something that was missing a piece. So I had gone back the next morning to see if I could find it. And while I was there, Tracy grabbed this up right after I had listed it. These were the Wonderful Land of Oz Kittens with the base from 2013, and she paid $199.95, so thank you so much, Tracy. I absolutely love this plush. Want to guess why? Cute little purple Raggedy Ann doll from Aurora sold for $17.95. Let me tell you a story. This cute little Dr. Seuss Grinch set had two little cups and a little tray underneath it. Robert was packing the first mug and it slipped and broke. So this is how I deal with issues like this is I went ahead and sent this buyer the single cup with the tray and I gave them a full refund, including shipping and then, um, you know, it's, it's not ideal, but it also helps you at least have something to ship. Hopefully your buyer is going to be satisfied with, you know, the items that you sent, especially if they were free. And that's what happened with me. They have already sent me a message saying they really appreciate our honesty and the fact that we gave them a full refund, she did request to go ahead and pay me again for what she sent. But I figured, you know, the best thing to keep a happy customer is to just let them keep the item and get a full refund. Not everybody will agree with this. Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. I picked up a bunch of ornaments at a yard sale. Paid a dollar each. This one sold for $13.45. Avon. I picked this up at that estate sale I went to where I bought a bunch of Avon. Um, this was a singing reindeer. Played Don't Worry Be Happy. Sold for $26.95. Melissa and Anne. Melissa Anne pink dress. It was an infant size, y'all. At the same time we were dealing with the broken mug, I could not find this item. Could not. What had happened was because it had the hanger, I had um, put the bin location as a shelf that wasn't in a tote and it wasn't there. I looked and looked. I looked all around where it should have been underneath on the back side, on the other shelves. Robert went down and looked and then I slept on it because it didn't need to be shipped till the next day. 
and the next morning I got up, I was pulling other stuff and again in that same area looking for this and it must have fallen off a shelf. Somebody picked it up and stuck it in a basket across from it and you know again it was like we were already dealing with the broken mug and then I couldn't find this but luckily I found it and was able to ship it. These things happen y'all. It happens Mattel Magic Nursery Twin Dolls. Pretty sure I picked these up at that churchyard sale where everything was a dollar that day. Um, these sold for $26.95. Angel Prayer Bear. Talk, it lights up. Let's see what else. Says a prayer and the halos lights up. Sold for $12.07. Bob Mackey Women's Top. There was a point I used to think Bob Mackey was high end. It's not, and it is a slower, slow seller. I don't know if I will pick up many more of them, um, but I did have quite a few that I picked up at an estate sale, and this one sold for $18. Bible Fact Pack Questions from 1975. Pretty sure I picked this up at the bins in Asheville a while ago. Sold for $22.95. Hasbro Twist and Style Tiffany Doll sold for $14. Baby Gund Orange Dinosaur sold for $12.07. Christmas Ornaments thinking I picked these up at an estate sale. They were both flocked, so I kept them together, and they sold for $14. Toy Story 3 robot figure. Most of them are bread and butter, but I still tend to list them separately. This one sold for $8.02. Jetomatic Percolator. Again, it was one of those things I picked up from upstairs that needed tested, been sitting there for a while, finally got it tested, just had to put water in it and make sure the percolating parts start, started working, sold for $30. What's a video without Rodney Reindeer? Well, this is actually Randy. I have done amazingly well with these this year. This is four and a half inch, the smaller one that Seems to be highly collectible. Sold for $17.95. Play School Wooden Numbers and Letters. I picked up a bunch of this type of stuff at a yard sale. I want to say I paid like $5. I ended up dividing it up into several lots. Um, this was a Play School container from 1972. Did not have the 30 blocks, but it did have other blocks. So I just kept all of it together and it sold for $17.95. And then Jimmy. Love picking up Jimmy. This was a Tigger Christmas stocking. Um, sold for $10.45. Another what sold video. Lots of sales. Um, this past week's been slowly but surely dwindling, you know, but I'm still very happy as close as it was to Christmas with the sales that I was getting. I think we've got 12 or 14 to ship today and then we're going to start packing. So y'all get to work. Bye.